To gain absolute control when editing drum samples, decompose is essential. For example, if you want to tune a drum sample to the key of your song, the length of the sample changes with the pitch. If the pitch goes down, you'll lose punch. If the pitch goes up, the sample becomes shorter and shorter. This is where decompose comes to the rescue. Decompose works quite like human hearing. It analyzes the audio and separates periodic from random signals. The periodic signals are called tonal and the random ones noise. Let's get right into it. Pressing pre-listen starts the analysis. The progress is indicated by the animated circle. The solo buttons help you find the optimal settings. Solo the tonal part to hear only the body or solo the noise part to hear just the transients of your drum sample. Now you can play around with sensitivity, cutoff and duration until you hear a clear distinction between the two parts or you go with the default settings. Once you're happy, deactivate solo and then press apply and decompose creates individual layers for the tonal and noise parts. Let's go back to the pitch example. After the decompose, you can tune the tonal layer independently from the noise layer and leave the transients unaffected. You do this by setting the pitch key follow of the noise layer to 0%. Now you can play the drum sample in a much wider pitch range. And this is just one of the many usages of decompose. To create just a tonal or noise layer, leave the solo button of the desired part activated when you press apply. Alternatively, you can dial the tonal and noise levels to taste, then activate the mix button and the two parts will blend. Each time you press apply, modified samples are created. By default, the modified samples are saved in the same folder as the original file. If this is not what you want, you can specify different destination folders for custom and library samples in the decompose settings. Let's put hands on a kick drum. Choosing the right settings for sensitivity, cutoff and duration has great influence on the quality of the decompose. Let's solo the tonal part and look at a spectrum analyzer so we can hear and see the changes. The default settings are a good starting point, but as you can hear and see, there is a high pitched artifact. The sensitivity determines the minimum level difference that is needed to distinguish the tonal from the noise signals. If you increase the sensitivity, more of these high pitched artifacts are audible. So let's decrease the sensitivity until the artifacts are gone. The cutoff sets the frequency limits below which the algorithm detects tonal signals. Any signals above the cutoff frequency are classified as noise, regardless of the sensitivity and duration settings. Let's solo the noise part to set the cutoff. We start with 20 Hz and we raise the cutoff frequency until the noise part sounds nicely high pass filtered. The duration allows you to specify the minimum length for a tonal signal in milliseconds. Signals that are shorter than the specified duration are classified as noise. Longer signals are classified as tonal. The attack of the noise part still has some low frequencies. We decrease the duration until the low frequencies are almost gone. Let's listen to the tonal and noise parts again. They're clearly distinct now, and we're ready to press apply. Now you can shape the tonal and noise layers separately with the sound modules in Backbone, which opens unparalleled creative possibilities for your sound design. Let's decompose a snare drum. The default settings for sensitivity, cutoff, and duration produce several high-pitched artifacts in the tonal part. We decrease the sensitivity until the artifacts are gone. Now we solo the noise part to set the cutoff. Like with the kick drum, we start with 20 Hertz and we raise the cutoff frequency until the noise part sounds pleasantly high pass filtered. The default setting of 80 milliseconds for duration works fine, let's keep it. Now we will create a blend of the two parts, lower the level of the noise, activate the mix button and press apply. It's up to you if you want to edit this sample further in Backbone or export it to your host. 
Let's have a listen to this ride symbol. In this example, the default settings for sensitivity, cutoff, and duration produce chime-like artifacts in the tonal part. For a dense spectrum like a ride symbol, we must increase the sensitivity until the artifacts are gone. When increasing the sensitivity, the algorithm looks much closer at the signals and the analysis takes longer. Now let's solo the noise part to set the duration. We decrease the duration until the noise part sounds smooth. Finally, by lowering the cutoff frequency, we can bring back some transients into the noise part. Now switch off solo and press apply. Like with the kick drum example, you can further shape the tonal and noise layers with the sound modules in Backbone. If you intend to resynthesize your drum sample, Decompose is also very beneficial by giving you greater freedom to shape the tonal and noise parts individually. Be sure to watch the resynthesis how to videos. Have fun exploring the Decompose feature in Backbone, and I'll see you soon.